In this video, we're going to be replacing the valve cover gaskets on this 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado. They're located on the side of the engine. Let's get into it. Now we're going to take the cover off, just get underneath here, lift up, and it slides out. We're going to move this wiring harness out of the way. There's a 10 millimeter nut right here. Just use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that off. Then where the alternator is, you want to disconnect the connector there. Just push down on the tab. That'll give you some more slack. Now I'm just going to use a bungee cord and just tie this out of the way. Just raise it up. Disconnect this connector right here. Just push up on the tab. Slide it off and out of the way. And there's a wire retainer right here. Just use the trim tool. Just pop that off. Disconnect the coil wires from the coils. And those wires can just hang down. If they don't come off, just twist them a little bit. You should be able to pull them off. We're going to take all these studs off using a 10 millimeter socket. There's five, one in the middle, and then two on the side, two on the other side. So take those off. Grab the coil packs and the bracket just slides right out. Now I'm going to pop this line off, just pull on the tab, wiggle it, slide it up. Now we're going to take the valve cover bolts out using an 8 millimeter socket. Take those out. And they are there is a seal on here, but you can leave these in, just make sure they're loose. It's loose. Just grab the valve cover and slide it out. The gasket was stuck to the head, so you want to grab the gasket and slide that off. Now you want to take a pick and take the old gasket out. Ours has already come out. We're just going to take some brake parts cleaner and just clean in the valley where the gasket is and just wipe it down afterwards. Make sure it's very dry before we put the gasket on. You can let it drain out. Now we're going to take these gaskets out around the bolts. Just use a screwdriver, pry the gasket out. It may break like this, and that's OK. Slide that off. You can use a pick or a screwdriver. And we'll just wipe this off first. You can use some brake parts cleaner as well. Take the new gasket, push it in first. That's settled. Take the bolt and just slide it in like that. That 
that's good. It's all the way in. And you can do the same with the other ones. For this one, sometimes it's a little bit easier to put it on the bolt first. Just put some silicone lubricant on and then push it in that way. That might be a little easier for you. There you go, those are all on. Now the valley is dry where the gasket's going to go. So we can line the gasket up. It's going to go like this. Oops, it's going to move over. Line those bumps up first, and then the rest of the gasket should line up. Now this surface right here, you want to clean this off with some brake parts cleaner and a rag. This is pretty clean. We'll just wipe that down. And take your valve cover and slide it in position. And get the bolts started. have to wiggle it a little bit. I'll snug these down first. Working from the center outward. Now we're going to torque these to 106 inch pounds. Now take the coil packs and line those up. Make sure the wires are out of the way. And you take the studs, get those started. And tighten these down. This tube in the back, slide that on. You could have put that on before the coil packs, but it's just as easy to put on now. Lock it down. This wire retainer, slide that over that stud, 
Then we can take the ignition wires and put them back on the coils. Make sure they lock in place. Now I'm going to take the bungee off the wiring harness. And we'll plug this connector in to the coils. Right there, if there's a little lock on here, you want to push that lock through. Just like that. And the wire for the alternator. It's going to go right there. Lock that down. And put this bracket right here. Get the bolt started, or the nut and tighten that down. And take the engine cover, slide it in place, and push it down. And if you're doing the passenger side, the only difference is you're going to have these heater hoses. You just need to pop these out, just like that, and push those out of the way. Otherwise, the procedure is going to be the same. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.